Hello guys, Super Heavy Walrus here again, and time for another update. And if you can hear from my voice, I'm kind of sick. So bear with me. The first one I forgot to show you in the previous episode, which are ten chapters of a comic version of Macross 2. It is based on the OVA. Yeah, a comic version which have ten chapters. No, not volumes, chapters. This is the first one. This look really really great. And as I said I forgot to show you this because I got them as a gift from my friend, so thanks a lot, man. Some of these ha have the price tag on them still. I haven't seen the Macross 2 OVA, and it's the least out of all the Macross that I don't really care but these were these are really nice but still a comic version like in a manga version if there is one I think these are on a one manga book so that's about them And then we go into an actual manga. The Berserk Volume 3, the Deluxe Edition. In a pre previous episode, I had the Volume 2 about two months before I did the episode, so. Now, this is like week old release, so I should really start to read this. I really should. But right now I'm reading something else. Really nice why I should even open this, because I'm gonna open it when I read it. So that's all the manga I got. And then we go into the Blu-rays. No DVDs this time. The first one is why they make this. This. Why? Resident Evil Vendetta. An original. <laughs> an original. CG motion picture. Yeah, CG. Hell yeah. The first two, uh, Damnation and was it Regeneration or Degeneration? Something like that. They were fine. This have. This was really, really cheap, so... And then... The newest arrivals for me. Owari Monogatari. Part 1 and 2. So the only thing I'm missing after this, which is the... Kisu Monogatari Part 3. What is it? Please, please, camera, focus, Ray Kets, Sue. The only thing I'm missing is the Nekamonogatari White, which I've already said is sold out and MVM is releasing. Monogatari second season box. So I was pretty damn late. Sorry for the light, it's getting in the way. 
So that's a bummer. I don't know if I'm gonna just buy the second season box or am I gonna just buy Negamonogatari White on DVD. We shall see. And then some updating. Finally, Rin, Daughters of Minamusni DVD. This is the US Essentials released by Funimation. By the way, there is the digital thing. Let, let me just... Uh, yes, you, you, you will not have this. Whoever you are who is watching this, I may still give it to someone. Yeah, really simple release. This is not a bad thing. Like, if you compare it to the Funimation Safe releases, they are ugly. The green color that takes a third of the Blu-ray cover. So, it doesn't look right. Thank God those I already own have a reversible cover. That's always a good thing. So, really simple Blu-ray release. And then another. Cobra the Animation. Complete collection. The newer ones, the OVAs and... What does it say on there? TV series, the Psycho Gun Time Drive OVAs. Yeah, the newer Cobra TV series. These are awesome. Everything Cobra is awesome. Like, this is a... What the hell is it? Uh, a... Licensed released. Like, I, I own these. And there are, they are bootlegs. So thank God I bought them on DVD, which, I've, which I'm really happy about. Huge Cobra fan. And then some Masaki Yuasa. If I said it right, Night is Short, Walk on Girl. Yeah, this is just the standard Blu ray. I wanted to buy the collector's edition of this, but I was too late. Out of print. It tends to happen to me. But this, this, this is fine still. And then another update from DVD to Blu-ray. Burst Angel in a anime classics version. And with the anime classics, these these covers look fine. Like this aesthetic, which it has, the borders around it. It's not bad because there the colors are good combined. So another really simple Blu-ray release with a reversible cover if you want to. And then the second part of Steins Gate Zero. Double play. And actually I watched this recently. Damn good series like the original. And if you have seen Steinsgate Steinsgate, you know what this is about. As an adaptation to the visual novel. I don't know. I have read about it that some things aren't here and some some of the plot points are just swept away. But still a really good adaptation. Anime adaptation. Really enjoyable. Just to get just to see 
more of your favorite characters and some new. And now I can put this into the bigger box. Yes. I recommend this if you like Steinsgate. Really good. Sequel. Kind. And then something I will just unbox now. The Heroic Legends of Arslan. Series 1 Part 2. I made the first unboxing of the first. I made the first. I unboxed the first part of season one. I already opened the wraps in this. I don't remember why. I just did. So, like in the first one, if I talk, do you get some sort of a game with this? And art cards and another nice visual guide. Some great details about the characters and such. And then the art cards. What is this? Pause and read it, please. And tell it. Whoa. Okay. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Ah, pretty good looking character design. Is this uh, a poster? Yes. Poster. Really small one. And then we get the back details of some sort of a card game or I don't know. Yeah, really great looking, this Universal, Genian Universal or something, art boxes and the, that is, that, it is a top loader art box. I'm still, I'm still wondering why Universal didn't made more of these. Just the you will see the first part of it, which I will unbox soon. They made this first season of Arslan, and there they go. And then they released Seraph of the End, or what you know, Seraph. First season, I don't think there's another one. I'm not sure. So these are the only ones. The Arslan Season 1 boxes and the Seraph of the End boxes are the only ones that Universal have released. I don't know why with the top loader thing. These are the only four boxes that I have seen with this top loader design so I'm gonna unbox this as well mm -hmm. we're down to two boxes and then some fate stay night heaven's feel pre-sage flower yes the movie the first movie of the Heaven's Feel route of the Fate's Day Night visual novel. Yeah, great looking box. I'm gonna unbox this too. Uh, the second one is coming. I'm not yet pre ordered it. I didn't even pre order this, so I think I'm not gonna pre order the second movie. And now the greatest out of all of these, in some way, the most classic out of all of these, is Jinro Wolf Brigade. 
Blu-ray Collector's Edition box. Hell yes. Really great looking box. The art is amazing. This is a movie from our friend, if I remember correctly. Does it say here? Why is it doesn't say yes? Screenplay by Mamoru Oshii. Yes, and the director Hiroyuki Okiura. By Production IG. Really good movie. About. can't even remember anymore. About some sort of a. a military brigade. But a really good movie, even. If it's if it has been a, a while since I saw this, these are the things that Mamoru she has done. Interesting. So this is really, really simple. Just a art book, the digi book, and art box, but still a really great release. Finally on Blu-ray. Yeah, so that's about all today. And the next time will be the, the next video will be a couple of unboxings, but because Christmas is on its way, anime collection time again. Yeah, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.